How y'all are? Uh, I wanted to do a little video. Uh, something came up about a thing called color case hardening. Now, color case hardening or case hardening. Uh, typically, what they're talking about is this. Okay, color case hardening. Let's get a little bit better light to get going here. Color case hardening. Uh, how does it get that way? Why is it that way? You know, and and so forth. Okay. Color case hardening. Now, there's such a thing as case hardening. And the color is not a requirement of the case hardening process. What case hardening is, is a method of heat treating which creates multiple hardnesses in a particular item made from steel. So what you wind up with is a, um, a tool, for instance. Okay. I just took a stock off there so it would be easier to show and I had to have my sockets to do it. But um, let's take the socket, for instance. So typically these guys are case hardened. Okay, and what happens in the process is the tool or whatever item of steel it is, is put into a thing called a vault. And in that vault is a insulating medium of some kind. And then the entire vault is heated up and timed in such a way that in turn it is cooled in such a way that the internal structure of the metal remains somewhat flexible and not so hard but the exterior of the metal is hardened so you have this strata on top you know, on the exposed part of the metal item, which is slightly harder on the surface than it is on the inside. What that does is it makes that tool or item more resistant to damage or exterior wear than it normally would be without the different heat treating process or the standard heat treating process where the entire surface and interior of the metal is heat treated to the same Brunel hardness. Okay. So when this was discovered and the guy that discovered this process is the same guy that discovered the air injected blast furnace, a guy named Bessemer, uh, who was, a genius. Old man Bessemer was, you know, he's responsible for about everything we see today because he came up with this way to produce steel that was both technically superior and economically feasible. So by case hardening the tool or the surface or whatever it is, it makes it more resistant to wear, but allows the metal to have some flexibility and give to it, which is important in a thing like, oh, for instance, an ax or some kind of cutting tool or a firearm receiver. So it was discovered in the 1880s or 1890, 1880s that you could take and add things to the heat treating vault to give it a slight temperature differential in different spots and create different patterns in the metal, giving you what we now call color case hardening, which works something along the same lines of the heating of a Ever see a motorcycle exhaust pipe and header? The way it turns blue and has it blue to purple to clear, you know, like that. It's the same thing here. Okay. 
variations in the heating of the surface of the metal creates these striations in the metal. Okay. And over the years, they discovered that they could add different things, ground leather and bone meal and, and potash and, and, and just all kinds of different materials that heat come to a different heat, you know, at the same temperature and give you basically this marking on the receiver, which is a very sought after thing. People love color case hardening. And that's a, a pretty rudimentary description, you know. So as I look at this thing, it's got blue and black and green and purple and yellow and amber all mingled in there together. And what that is, is, is the different packing materials in that treating vault interacting with the metal at different temperatures. So, you know, there, and there's thousands of things that can be put into that vault and interact with that metal. And I've just mentioned a few of them, you know, some of them are pretty bizarre, you know, some of them are brilliant foil, things of that nature to get all different kinds of colors into the case hardening process. Well, that's a brief explanation of color case hardening. Uh, best I've read and best I know and best I've done. Uh, I haven't color case hardened any metal since high school. But I know a lot of these things because I had an absolutely brilliant, absolutely somewhat cantankerous and ornery but absolutely brilliant high school industrial arts teacher named Art Calhoun, God bless his soul, who gave us all of these young people information like this and taught us how to do it. So, you know, uh, if you have any influence with your school board, you need to advocate industrial arts in your high school system. Well, that's about the size of it. Like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me a little dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. And if you don't want to, I'll just keep right on making content for you. God bless everyone, and let's be safe. Bye now.